For 150 years, people have enjoyed their work, and tonight we're going back in time. A newly discovered song performed by what was then the Jubilee Quartet is believed to be the oldest recording of the ensemble. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs and photojournalist Jordan Powell take us back to 1912. Jubilee singers have a rich history of taking an old sound and making it new. Michael Durlin discovered this personally. Music is a huge part of my life, uh, and it is without question a way to bring people together um, across either very real or perceived barriers that may exist. Durlin believes to have inherited the oldest recording of the Fist Jubilee Singers, and he has it in rare form. This is probably the only recording of a black artist in the entire. Wow. Sharing the sound with four current Fist Jubilee Singers. It's not that there weren't black artists then, there were plenty. They still found strength and encouragement in the music and knowing yep. that it won't be like this forever. Yeah. Exactly. We began the morning, we'll soon be over with, soon be over with, soon be over with. We began the These students aren't just listening to a song, they're hearing a testimony. What better place to worship this sound than inside the Fisk Chapel? So amazing, even as current Fisk Jubilee singers, yes. you know, just to like, I literally felt like I was traveling in time oh, as you yeah. heard it, yeah. and I thought that was so cool. A song believed to be more than 110 years old becomes so new in the hearts of these students. I'm still in awe. Like, I'm so yes. shocked because I can now hear it again. go home and tell my parents, like, hey. <laughs> I just got to experience the coolest thing. It was a beautiful experience watching my students listen to this recording. <laughs> that gave me a lot of joy. They tried to imitate these songs. Uh, you know, I was very happy to hear them sing the song. With photojournalist Jordan Powell, I'm Kelsey Gibbs with News Channel 5.